Hey, good afternoon. This is uh, Bill with Fat Loss Made Easy Solution. Hope you guys are having a great, uh, what is Wednesday today? So guys, uh, today we're going to talk about the basics of intermittent fasting. Um, right now I'm seeing a lot of messages. There's a lot of groups out there. Now you guys have to admit that uh, primal eating or keto uh, keto meals and uh, intermittent and prolonged fasting is becoming a huge, huge um, uh, way of life here in the United States and actually all over the world. Um, as more and more science comes out about it and more and more people are getting such healthy re results from it and now science has um, actually uh, been uh, doing a lot of research on the benefits of uh, doing both the primal eating and the uh, intermittent and prolonged fasting. So we have to admit it that, that this is a huge, huge way of life now. And the benefits are just too, um, there's just too many not to see it, that it really, re it really works. So, but there's a lot of issues. People just aren't educated on actually how to get started when they're looking to uh, do their first intermittent fasting. Um, they make a lot of mis they make a lot of mis mistakes, and it's not the meal plan's fault, or it's not the intermittent fasting fault. It's your fault because you don't know what you're doing right off the bat, and uh, you're not following certain steps. So uh, today I'm just going to go over briefly uh, the basics of intermittent fasting, just to kind of give you guys an idea of really how simple it is and how the body really guys the body wants you to do this that's what makes it so simple once it gets fat adapted the body wants to stay stay there oh by the way guys uh, as you see I'm drinking my fat coffee I made a change um, I'm actually uh, I've changed to a creamer that is a macadamia uh, macadamia nut with coconut cream, unsweetened creamer for my coffee. The uh, reason why I did that is because I've been doing a lot of research on even organic uh, creamers out there uh, for my extra fat during the um, week or during the day. Come to find out that most all, if not all, of the dairy here in the United States has... Um, two types of, or actually there's two types of caseins that are in dairy. Type one is dangerous to the gut. It actually will destroy your good gut bacteria and you will get gut issues. Casein two is an unprocessed casein that is actually a very good protein. But the problem is that most of the dairy here in the United States is processed and that's what casein one is. That's why I suggest to my clients who are starting a program with us that if they're going to order, order a protein powder to get some kind of a good veggie protein powder and stay away from whey protein because whey protein powders are processed and they have the casein one in it. And for myself, I can never have whey protein again because my gut is so sensitive to casein one that I get very nauseous if there's any casein one or any fillers in certain protein powders. So just something to tell you real quick what I found. So I found this um, macadamia nut uh, cre um, coconut cream um, creamer and I'm trying it for the first time and actually it's really good. I could make this change. And it's pl plus it's it's higher in good fat and it's a non-dairy product, which is really good. So let's get back to the subject line here. Um, guys, most of the professionals out there and some of you who are first starting out are actually making it too complicated when you're first starting off on doing intermittent fasting. And it really is not that complica complicated if you're following the right steps. Now, our online
online personal coaching program that we have actually walks through these steps, these certain steps. Because you guys remember, how many times have I told you that your body does not uh, just switch over to burning fat because you started eating more good dietary fat and you backed off on the carbs? It just doesn't do that. You've got to work into it slowly. So that's why the first two or three weeks I suggest people to... Uh, change their meals to a higher good dietary fat and low carbs for the first two or three weeks just to get their bodies used to burning fat. Then once their body becomes closer to fat adaptation, you can go to my YouTube channel, type in Bill May Mabry, subscribe to it, or go to my uh, Weight Loss Made Easy Solution Facebook group page and join it to get uh, to, to watch the videos on what fat adaptation means. But what you're looking to do here is you're looking to do is walking into burning your own body fat step by step slowly and then introducing yourself to intermittent fasting. And like I said, guys, what you're doing here when you're going when you're doing those steps is you're eliminating the amount of glucose or sugar that your body is using for energy and then you're switching over to burning your own body fat. That's what you want to do anyway, right? That, that makes a lot of sense, right? But you have to do it step by step. You can't just jump into it. That's why most people fail uh, because they, uh, they just they get the cravings. What, what they're doing is they're activating hormones that are causing you to have an appetite and then that is going to cause you to fail because you just cannot stay away from the Diet Cokes or the high carb sh sugars or so, so forth. So, you know, let's do it right the first, first time. Walk into it in a slow step-by-step -step manner or just contact me at drinknaturewater at gmail.com and let me send you some information about our online coaching so the first 90 days uh, you won't fail, okay? So anyway... So the people mess up on the very first step. They don't let their bodies walk into fat adaptation slowly. But if you, but when you do start to do intermittent fasting, the other thing that people do is they basically jump into the longer fasting, the ones like are 18, 20, or 23, or 24 hours, up to 36 hours, when they haven't even gone through the first steps of getting their bodies used to burning fat. You can't do that because you're going to fail. You will fail. So start off and make it simple and start off on a 16-8. All you have to do, think about this, all you have to do is just eliminate your breakfast. So if you're a breakfast eater and you're eating breakfast, say, around oh, 7, 8, 9, then eliminate that. Okay, so if you're having your last meal the night before, between 6 or 7, then don't have your next meal till the next day around 10 or 10.30, whatever time you quit eating the night before, and do a 16-hour fast, because doesn't this make sense? If you stop eating around 7 o'clock, and you start your fast right after that last meal, so you're not having any calories at all, period. After you're done eating, no snacking. That's it. Water, sea salt, and your uh, apple cider vinegar to help push you in fat burning much faster while you're asleep. So why not stop eating and then within, oh, probably 7 or 8 or 10 hours, depending on, on how long you've been a carboholic, you've died, you've already, your body has used up the glucose from the food you ate or what glucose you have stored because you're just starting out. So by 2 or 3 o'clock in the morning, you're actually ran out of glucose. The body is then going to say, hey, wait a minute. I need energy to repair my body. I need energy to wake up in the morning. I need energy to operate. What does it do? Well, you've got plenty of energy stored in your body fat, guys. There's a lot of great energy. Matter of fact, science calls it rocket fuel. And that's going to trigger your liver to produce ketones, and ketones are food for the brain. Ketones is the great, is one of the best sources of the energy for your body. And you're going to wake up the next morning, and you're going to have your your glucose levels are going to be in a healthy level. 
but you're going to have your first meal at around 10 or 10.30. And that first meal should be a primal or a keto meal, a higher good dietary fat, very low carbs. And you're, it, should be with, uh, it shouldn't be starches. Get off the starches, get off the breads, potatoes for the first few weeks while you're introducing yourself into this new lifestyle. Now, what you can do, guys, is you can actually do an, uh, what we're doing is alternate day fasting. So on Monday, don't fast. Stick to your primal eating all day. Have your three meals and your snacks. And then on Tuesday, do intermittent fasting, a 16-hour one. Don't jump right into the big ones. Stay with the smaller ones. And then on Wednesday, do a non-fasting day. Simple, very simple. And what makes it so simple and, and why you're making it so complicated is that all you got to do is remember this. No bread and no starchy foods. Just remember that. Now, you can go to my uh, WordPress, uh, Bill, or Drink Nature's Water WordPress. I have lists of, uh, of good high dietary fats and I have lists of... Um, the starchy foods that are actually causing issues why you're gaining that belly fat or body fat. Go to my YouTube channel also and see some videos about, about that. So that's, that's how simple it is, guys. And if you're afraid to do intermittent fasting, don't be. Because your body was designed to do intermittent fasting. Your ancestors, was this, they did intermittent fasting. And we have not evolved away from that. The problem is, is that you guys have become an, a carboholic and you're overeating every day. And that's why this country is so fat. Okay, I mean, think about that. Obesity is an epidemic in the young and old. There's got to be a reason for it. You guys know what that reason is because if you're following me, I've been telling you what that reason is. Even at a young age, people have imbalanced hormones because of their Western, the Western style of eating. You can't do that. Okay? So, guys, don't be intimidated by the word intermittent fasting. Like I said, once your body acclimates to it, it wants to do it. Actually, once you've been doing it for six, seven, eight, or nine months or, or a year, your body is automatically will not want to go back to being a carboholic. It doesn't want those carbs anymore. It wants to stay with your new lifestyle because it feels so much better. And the body, see, the, the, the gut is the center of your life. And if you have a sick gut, then your whole body's sick, including your brain. You, you knew your brain and your gut are attached, right? You knew that. So if you have a sick gut, you have a sick brain. That's just, that's the physiology of the body. And so what intermittent fasting and prolonged fasting does, according to science, is that it, the, the digestive tract needs a chance to clean itself out. And if you're constantly eating three, four, five meals a day, and, in, and that's including snacks, you're not giving your small intestines and that, crew, that, that cleaning crew can't get in those small intestines and clean the walls of those intestines out because you're not giving it enough time. And that's why issues with gut issues here in the United States is also epidemic. Well, I'll tell you what. This uh, macadamia nut creamer is really good. You're going to have to try it. I actually might have to put this in my cookbook. So, guys, I've, uh, I've got an outline here. And I'm going to post the outline in the description of the um, YouTube at once I download this into YouTube. So all you got to go is go to my YouTube channel, uh, type in Bill Mabry, subscribe to it. Uh, also go to my Weight Loss Midi Solution Facebook group page and the, the video will be on there. And hit that description section or, or that description link. And this outline will come up because I have a graph here and that graph shows regular eating strategy so it gives you so it kind of eases you it eases the people out there that are very skeptic about doing intermittent fasting because they, they they get it in their mind that oh fasting means i'm going to eat and starve to death 
And it's not true. It's not going to, you, you aren't going to starve to death. It's not going to happen if you follow the right steps, okay? So there's a, there's a graph in there that says regular eating strategy. And then I have, it, it has to do with how many calories that you're eating per day, okay? And then right below it, it has a graph called intermittent fasting doing a 16-8 strategy. And it also shows how many calories you're actually consuming in that fasting day. And when you compare the two, you're going to be pretty amazed at how close they really are, okay? But the difference is that with the 16-8, and if you're doing it alternate days, the benefits of burning fat is huge. Just doing those. And then after you've been doing that for two or three or four weeks, then just go a little longer, two more hours. Remember, the longer you go without eating, the more of your own body fat you're going to actually burn. Okay, does that make sense? That should. Because if you're not eating any calories at all, you're just having uh, uh, water and sea salt and black coffee or green tea, no calories in them, no creamers, then your body is going to automatically switch into your own body fat and burn it. But you don't, but you want to work up to those 18 and 20s and 23s and those 36s. You just don't want to jump into them because you most likely will activate a hormone. Or there's two hormones actually that will that will actually send a message to the brain, and those hormones are in your gut. They'll send a message to the brain saying, hey, uh, we need some food here. And actually, you don't need food because if you drank sea salt and water, that lowers that hor hormone. So there's, a, there's one of our secrets in how we do it. So guys, like I said, message me if you want to know more about our online personal coaching. Um, I'll send you some information on that. Uh, but go to my YouTube channel and uh, click on to this description and the outline will be there. So I hope you guys are, uh, are going to have a great night tonight, and we'll see you guys at the next video. Have a great day.